Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you uh, would. It helps me out quite a bit with the channel. And click the like button, and I appreciate it very, very much. Bless your hearts. Well, well, well. We've got a little story here about an electric pickup truck. I don't know how all this electric stuff is going to go, to be honest about it. Man tried to use his brand new 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck to tow a 1930 Ford Model A truck, but the attempt ended in a complete and total disaster. YouTuber Tyler Hoover, who has 1.4 million follower, followers, were frustrated after he realized that his electric truck can't do normal truck things. Realizing after testing the truck's towing capabilities that is absolutely not practical. If a towing, if a truck towing 3,500 pounds can't even go 100 miles, that is ridiculously stupid, Hoover said in the video. This truck can't do normal truck things. You would be stopping every hour to recharge which would take about 45 minutes a pop, and that's absolutely not practical. This is my new 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning Electric Pickup Truck. He noted during the video where he tests the vehicle's towing capabilities, which ended in a complete and total disaster. Hoover planned a simple test in which he drove the EV truck towing an empty trailer just 32 miles away, then loaded up a 1930 Ford Model A pickup truck that he had recently purchased and towed it back the same way he came. My plan was to make two trips up today, Hoover said, about 32 miles each way, so that's about 64 times two, 128 miles round trip. I had this thing charged to just over 200 miles when I started my day. So ample margin for error when it comes to range and towing and also considering the fact that the trailer was going up empty two times, he added. Hoover attached the empty aluminum trailer to his electric truck and pulled out of his neighborhood, which was a distance of approximately a quarter of a mile. The vehicle had already lost three miles of range by the time the YouTuber had driven to the location 32 miles away, the electric truck had lost a shocking 68 miles of range. After loading up the Model A truck onto the trailer, driving back to his neighborhood, Hoover said that he had gotten the driving range low warning. He then noticed that he only had 50 miles of range left, despite the fact that he had charged the electric vehicle for 200 miles at the start of his 128 mile trip. Are you kidding me? That's almost 90 miles of range in 30 miles. Are you serious? That's nuts. What a joke, Hoover reacted. And so yeah, that was bad. And if the future is electric, there has to be some kind of solution for this, he added. I have no idea why EVs tow so bad. My guess would, it, would be it doesn't have a normal transmission where there's gears and a car's in a lower rev range. If a truck towing 3,500 pounds can't even go 100 miles, that is ridiculously stupid, Hoover continued. This truck can't do normal truck things. You would be stopping every hour to recharge, which would take about 45 minutes a pop. That is absolutely not practical. The YouTuber concluded by stating that the electric truck was apparently just for getting around A to B, not actually for doing truck things. Referring to actual labor that trucks are designed for such as towing. The F-150 Lightning is more like a truck than most people use their trucks for, just to get around A to B, and not really using it 
to do truck things, Hoover said. They just want something big and comfortable, and it does great at that. But as far as doing truck things, well, so far, just with towing, not good, he added. Well, <clears throat> I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of trouble. They're just throwing them out there. That's what they're doing. Yeah, they're just throwing them out there. Biden's, Biden's little electric do floppy, I think, might backfire. There's going to have to be a lot of changes. They've got to be stronger, more powerful, and go longer distances. Bigger batteries, power batteries. Oh, Biden and his brilliant ideas. But I guess they've been working on this way before we ever had an inkling of it. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Well, China warns U.S. of wrong, dangerous position on Taiwan. Now, I'm doing a redid on this video. I've already done it once. But it didn't pass, and I think it was because I mentioned another channel, which I probably should not have done. But it was an article. Everybody could read it. It was public. But I think that's why they wouldn't let me use the video. So I took it all out <laughs> and started over again. And I X'd out the article on the other channel. I should not probably have used. But it's to the public. Everybody can read it. And most people that belong to that channel probably has. But whatever. China foreign ministry officials have accused the U.S. of sending very wrong, dangerous signals on Taiwan following a meeting between Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and his Chinese counterpart, Chinese Foreign Minister Wai Yang. And I've got a funny feeling I've also did this one before. Chinese Foreign Ministry officials warned the United States not to meddle in its conflict with Taiwan, calling it in... Yeah, I did do this one. Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's X that one out. That ain't going to last either. Let's try this one. Thank heavens I line up a bunch of them. <laughs> Takes me a while, but I get there. <laughs> so at least I got something to vote, you know, to, or send to people, whatever. This is about voting. Now, I don't know. It's Republicans rapidly closing gender gap, gap in midterm election year. Now, I do believe this was on the other one. It was a second article that I could not post. So we'll, we'll see. A CNN and breakdown of six recent national polls find the gender gap on the Republican side is closing. The GOP is making significant strides with female voters in this crucial midterm election year. According to analysis of the major polls, the gender gap between the preferences, yeah, preferences of men and women for the parties is 20 points. Results show men favoring Republicans by an average of 13 points, while women favor Democrats by a 7-point average. The trend for female voters is sharply in the favor of the GOP. CNN notes the gap was 29 points, 2018, 34 points in 2019. And better news from conservatives is that Republicans score four points better among the men and a whopping 13 points with women. Now these numbers come in during the controversy, controversy over the leaked Supreme Court draft in, indicating Roe v. Wade may be overturned. They also reflect sentiment as parents seek greater rights in education amid decisive uh, lockdowns, divisive lockdowns and curriculum ch changes in schools. Yes, I think I pronounced that right this time. I had trouble with that curriculum or whatever. C U R R I C U L U M. Curriculum. 
whatever. <laughs> also worrisome of Democrats are the latest uh, Gallup or Gallup poll results. While 62% of women approved of President Joe Biden at the start of his presidency, that number now stands at 46%. That's even farther than 11% dropped among men who approved of his record. This trend is nothing new. Remember, Trump took 44% of the female vote in 2020, 5% increase over his 2016 total. The left-wing media takes great pride in telling Americans which issues should motivate them as they go to the polls. The pundits are legendary for filling nightly news screen time with partisans angrily denouncing this or that. The impression betrayed is that this is what the country wants. But that's not the case. Families worry about budgets in the face of skyrocketing inflation. They worry about their children and forces trying to shape their lives. Young people want homes and jobs. Older people want security. Americans are not nearly so radical as some want us to believe. The closing of the so-called gender gap is just one more repudiation of the Biden White House and radical left-wing politics. Women want what men want, and the bubbling mess coming out of Washington is not high on that list. No doubt. No doubt at all. Well, let's see if I can do another one here without getting stomped on. Now, I don't know. We'll see what this one is. But I think this uh, had three and it went with uh, the video I had to delete. I like to do three articles anyway. Like many Democrats, Hillary Clinton can't help but showcase her disdain for supporters of former President Trump. The two-time defeated presidential contender first began this pattern in 2016. Clinton, while campaigning for the White House, deemed Trump's supporters to be a basket of deplorables. Well. Hotty toddy, toddy to you. So then, Democrats have written off Trump's supporters as everything from semi-fascist to threats against the country's democracy. Even after this rhetoric led to attacks on GOP offices and Republicans themselves, Democrats still can't help themselves. While speaking in Texas, expressed her annoyance with Trump's supporters who went to his rally in Ohio. The failed presidential contender claimed that male Trump supporters raised their fingers in the air, mirrored various salutes that Hitler's follows, followers gave to him. Yeah, they're talking about that, and I put that in another video. Oh, probably four videos back, five videos back. I don't approve of the group that Trump is associated with but I'd like to think positive that he's just just there. It's nothing to go against the United States of America because he honors this country. He loves this country. But this day and age, oh boy. Echoing talking points from other Democrats, Clinton also argued the country is in a battle between democracy-centered Democrats versus autocracy centered Republicans. Later, Clinton rhetorically questioned what happened to supporters of Trump and Hitler's past supporters. These latest comments come as Democrats are desperately trying to win the midterm elections in November. The polls show Democrats are at least likely to lose the House of Representatives. Even this alone will stop the left from being able to pass legislation on party votes alone. At this rate, Democrats continue to attack Trump supporters and are deliberately fanning the flames of political violence. Now they blame Trump for violence on the 6th for the riot of the White House. Now the Democrats are doing the same <laughs> cotton picking thing. Are they going to get punished? Day after Joe Biden called Republicans semi-fascists, 
The headquarters of local GOP office in Central Florida was vandalized with profane message reading Eat S-H blank T fascist. Week after that, an 18-year-old Trump supporter was mowed down by a middle-aged Democrat claimed he felt threatened by the teenager. I remember reading that. I should have grabbed that article, but I'm, I'm sure we've probably all seen it. As Democrat dog whistler and encourage this violence against conservatives, polling has shown polarities. Plur is that how you say that? Plur 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 pluralities. Pluralities. Pl <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. P I'm getting tired. People expect the nation to break out into a civil war. Oh, God, let's hope not. Pray not. War, war, war. I'm so tired of hearing it. In a single mainstream, Democrat has acknowledged the left-wing violence being carried out against conservatives and Trump supporters since the comments from Biden and Clinton. One could argue these folks know exactly what they're doing and may even want to see reports of Republicans being brutalized. Uncalled for. Very, very much uncalled for. Lord have mercy. Well, this will be it for me for tonight. I'll get my stuff lined up for tomorrow, and that'll give me another hour and a half yet. But uh, I enjoy doing it. Yeah, I do. It's fun. And uh, even though I don't like a lot of what I read, you almost got to read it and, and get it out there to the public because who knows? What I'm reading might happen, no matter what. I know the, the um, inflation is killing us. We need help. We need some checks to get us through. There's other programs out there that help too, but people are so far behind. You know, they're living with relatives. They can't even get enough money saved up to even get their own place anymore. And the rent is going up every time you turn around. I pray mine don't. Because if my rent goes up again, I won't make it. That's the honest to God truth. I might just well look at the camera and tell you. That's the truth. If my rent goes up again, unless we get a good cola raise and nobody else gets their hands stuck in it, I might be able to make it, but it'll be thin to none. Believe me. So we all could be looking. Unless you got a lot of savings saved up. Like in the million. You might be living in the street with me. We'll be sitting on the street corner like I've said so many times. Or the street curb. Eating our EBT food. Nowhere to sleep. Who knows. Good night everybody. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and watch people check for drugs. It is just out of bounds. And they're going after the young people. Then they'll pick it up to the adults and whatever. You know some of those young people that they give the drugs to. Fill, fills their minds full of crap and hires them to work for them because they're going to get big money. Now what young kid ain't going to go for that? You know, and then those young kids are going to hook the adults in the home. It's a vicious, vicious, vicious circle. I don't know how all this is going to end up. I'm going to say so long. God bless you. Got to give you a wave goodbye. Uh, so long. A wave for so long. Till the next time. Okay.